hidden fact here is that fuel cells degrade unless you have technical grade hydrogen and technical grade oxygen, uh, which exclude uh, to five nines purity hydrocarbons, sulfur, and carbon monoxide. You cannot filter those out of the air without some sort of scrubbers or chemical uh, uh, techniques, electrostatic deposition, or sophisticated equipment. There's no filter that takes you know, hydrocarbons out of the air. We wish there were, and there just isn't any such thing. About the, about the Ballard fuel cell? Sure, what's your, uh, what's underneath your camera then? Oh. It's Orange County, it's the Orange Coast Voice. Okay, what would you like to know? Uh, how, what's the chance of Ballard fuel cells uh, appearing in a car near us lately, kind of currently? Well, uh, Ballard fuel cells are in Ford and, and Daimler cars right now. So there's, uh, uh -huh. there's probably a, good, a, a very strong chance that uh, some of those cars are running around uh, in Orange County. How many, how many are there? in fuel cell cars in California, do you know? Uh, period, all fuel cell yeah. cars? Yeah. I think there are a few hundred. I heard 93 from ARB, but that could be an old number. Yeah, you know, probably the best people to speak to would be with the California Fuel Cell Partnership. You know, this hidden fact behind the scenes here is that there's only 93 fuel cell cars on the streets of, of, of California, but they're all leased. And there's over, yeah, three years after the program was killed, four years, there's still infinitely more uh, electric cars on in the hands of owners, owned by people, 300 of them, than fuel cell cars. And there's still many times more electric cars than all the fuel cells, even the least ones. So uh, since none of the fuel cell cars are owned by people because they cost a million dollars each. Annalisa Bavan is the, I guess, the California the person. Yeah. is with, uh, with CARB. CARB. Yeah. Actually, uh, California Fuel Cell Partnership is a little bit different. Uh -huh. Partnership of uh, auto OEMs and uh, energy companies. And What's the life of the Ballard fuel cell? The per, that's the PEM membrane, right? Yeah, it. Uh, I'm losing Dan. Yeah. It, it, it really depends a lot on the application. Right. So this this type of, uh, of the, uh, cell architecture is used uh, in cars. It's used in buses. It's used in things like materials handling. Um, in, uh, in buses, you get uh, to 4,000 hours of durability. Uh -huh. uh, in lift trucks, you get somewhere closer to nine or 10,000 hours. 4,000 hours, 24,000 miles, two years, 10,000 hours on a lift truck. Um, who knows? But, you know, not, not that many miles. Under, uh, a lot of it depends on the power output, right? Because of the oxygen intake, is that the problem? It has a lot to do with the, the, uh, the duty cycle. So yeah. the, it depends on how the transients are handled in each uh -huh. application. So it's, uh, yeah, it's depending on how you <laughs> operate the, the uh, stack, you can get very different lifetimes. Uh, uh, would carrying oxygen bottles be a help? Like I know they, they, they use technical grade hydrogen. But they take oxygen from the air. Which would the light be enhanced? No, would there's, there's very good filtration systems. What do they filter it's, out? Whether it's for a bus um, or a car, they or filter out carbon monoxide, <laughs> sulfur, and, <coughs> excuse me, all the nasty things that we. Uh, we have Hydrocarbons. Well, uh, yeah, um, everything that you have, all the criteria air pollutants uh -huh. that you have in they use like Southern California. They use electrostatic uh, deposition or other techniques no, for filtering? No. Uh, they just use straight filtration. Uh -huh. uh, so, so what limits the life of the fuel cell? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, degradation of the membrane like cell assembly. Uh -huh. um, and that's, uh, again, that's, that's usually a function of uh, how, in fact, the fuel cell is operated. Right, how much energy they put out. The duty right? cycle is in, in, um, how many how many start stops? Yeah. Um, and, and how many transients you see in the time? Okay. Thanks very much. That Ballard fuel cell.